Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Recently I've been asked what would be a good gun for somebody who has arthritis in their hands. So what would I recommend? So we'll start with the Shield EZ is a perfect gun for that. Because with arthritis what it does is it makes it where you lose the ability to control your hands well. Sometimes you can't curl a finger or sometimes one curls and you can't uncurl it. So gripping small things, gripping tight things is difficult. So the Smith & Wesson m and Shield EZ series came out recently. This one happens to be the 9mm. You can get a little more capacity with the 30 Super Carry and just a hair less recoil. Or the same capacity with the 380. So you can kind of get your choice. It holds 8 in this magazine. Why is this a good gun for somebody with arthritis? First off, it's a little bit bigger grip so that you can get your hand around it or if parts of your hand aren't working correctly, you can still grip it well. This really easy to do grip safety goes away really easy, but it avoids the need for a thumb safety. If your thumb is affected by the arthritis and you can't operate a thumb safety. But if you are somebody that truly wants a thumb safety, there is a version available. So you, you kind of have your choice. And that's something that kind of makes this very flexible. The other thing is it's very easy to rack. I'm doing it with just two fingers, but I can even use weaker fingers. So if you have problems with your fingers, you're going to be able to rack this gun. And that kind of applies to all of them. You can put lights and lasers on it. It's got nice sights, so you're not giving up anything. There's other guns I've looked at, like the PK380, that have other issues. Taking this down is easy, too. You just lock it back and flip this lever down, and you can flip it down with a plastic tool or something like that, and then it just comes apart. So that's important, too. If your hands are weaker, like trying to put on those little tabs that Glock has might be a very difficult thing, whereas this, you either with your finger or a tool, you're going to need a holster. This is a nice holster you would want something similar to this the dual clips keep it stable so when you go ahead and grab a hold of it if you can't force it with your hand and keep things straight the holster will stay put it's adjustable so you can adjust the tension so those are the types of things that you would want to have this particular one is a crossbreed rec cross reckoning but there's a lot of good holsters on the market but i would avoid single clip ones and things that aren't going to stay real stable if i put the gun in the correct way Holds the gun, adjustable retention, comes right out. You're not always going to want to have that if you're in the house. And of course, if you're in the house, home invasions and stuff like that, you'd still want to have a holster. These DeSantis Nemesis holsters work really good. They cover the trigger so that you can't accidentally snag the trigger. Keep it from scratching up to things that you set it on. But easy to get out when you need it. The magazines on this gun are designed for people that have weaker hands. They have these little tabs you can pull the follower down. I'm just doing it with a fingernail. But one of the problems that you run into with arthritis is the ability to grab small things like this. And that may impair your ability to actually use that. So this is these are $30, $40. These are Maglula Uplula. And basically what they are is a loader. And they make it easier to load the magazine. Put the magazine in, close it, push it down, drop the round into the hole, and then let go and just stack it. But now you're using your whole fist as opposed to using just a finger or a fingertip. Depending on the severity of your arthritis, how bad your hands are, this may be good enough, but if it's not, this will, will get the job done. And these are available online most gun stores. So when you look at the package of the Shield EZ, the holster, the Lula, the pocket holster, this is a perfect setup for somebody that has limited functionality in one hand or the other. You can maintain it, you can easily use it, you can shoot it, you can enjoy it at the range. The recoil on these is very manageable and be able to participate in shooting sports or self-defense. And they also even have a, a decent trigger. Not the shortest reset on the planet, but a nice reset. The trigger's fairly light, which is another thing if your fingers don't work all that well, having a long heavy trigger makes it a little difficult to stay on target. Even if you don't have arthritis, these are actually nice guns. But if you do, if you've got weaker hands, whether it's arthritis or any other factor, this is actually a really good choice, whether you choose the 9, the 380, or the 30 Super Care. So hopefully that information helps somebody that has that issue with their hands. But beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, kind of everywhere. And thank you.